back and thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to learn about the French horn. The French horn is actually a very interesting instrument and it's got lots of cool features to it. So we're gonna talk about it. Just like all the other instruments from the brass family, the mouthpiece looks kind of similar. It's just something that you buzz into, but you'll notice unlike the trombone and the euphonium, the mouthpiece here is really, really, really small. Um, which <laughs> which is good because it, it, it's a smaller instrument so it needs to have a smaller mouthpiece. Um, so what you do is you just buzz into it and it sounds something like this. Oh, nice sound. All right, so thankfully the French horn is really easy to put together. Um, there's really not a lot of question about how to do it. You lift it up by the bell and you put the mouthpiece in at the top and you twist. Now, I will warn you, the French horn is not really an instrument that you should start out with um, learning. If you've never played a band instrument and you're interested in a brass instrument, this is not really a great place to start. They are quite difficult to play. Um, I would recommend something like a trumpet or a trombone or a euphonium because they're a lot easier to play and you'll have more success with it. Um, if you find that you're really good at those and you want an extra challenge, this is a great instrument to upgrade to. <laughs> and you'll see why later because I'm not very good at playing this. So <laughs> you'll find that you would like some practice with a brass instrument before you do this. All right, so a little bit about the French horn. Um, just like all the other brass instruments, they're, it's all tubing, but it's in a neat little coil here and it's all wrapped together. Unlike the trombone, it has valves, um, just like the trumpet and the euphonium, but the valves look a little bit different, as you can see, um, but they still work nonetheless. Um, what's nice is there's, you, you hold it with your left hand and you keep it kind of cupped with your right so you don't really feel like you're balancing it. Um, your pinky would stay in the little pinky slot here, and then on this side, you see a hole there, and that's kind of where your thumb sits. So there's no question what your hand's supposed to be doing, because you've got a spot for each of your fingers. As for your right hand, it just kind of sits in the bell. You don't jam it right in there because then you're gonna mute the, the sound, but you just kind of hold it in there and then what musicians generally do is if they're looking for a particular sound or tuning, they would just change the shape of their hand inside the bell. So you would just kind of rest it in there and that's really all your hands do with it. So, um, if you are a French horn player, you are, just a horn player or a hornist. You don't necessarily say French horn player. I mean, you can, but you could be called a hornist. Um, and of course, a couple of fun facts about it because I mean, really, who doesn't need fun facts in their day? So uh, the French horn didn't always like that, look like this. In fact, <laughs> way, 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 way back in the beginning, I can't even give you a date, it's that far back. Uh, people wouldn't blow in metal to have a horn they would use animal horn. And in fact, one such instrument is called the shofar, which I will come closer and show you. The shofar. So this was actually made out of a, a ram's horn. So what they would do is they'd take the horn and kind of hollow it out and then they blow into it in a very similar way that you blow into a brass instrument and it would that would be their horn, but I mean, no valves, no special things about it, just animal horn. Um, obviously, it developed quite a bit from that, and they started using the French horn in orchestras, um, and that's when they were made out of metal. So I, nowadays, you find metal French horns, but it's really cool to see that that's sort of where they came from. All right, so <laughs> now you know how it's made, you know how to put it together. I'm going to show you what it sounds like once again, disclaimer, I am not a French horn player. <laughs> so I'm going to do my very best to get a couple of good sounds on here for you so you have an idea of what it sounds like. But once again, please remember this is not a great instrument to start with, but if you find you're really good at a trumpet or a trombone and you want a, something harder, this is a good instrument to give you a bit of a challenge. All right, so here we go. The French horn. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Bye.